Speaker, and I rise to update the House on how the coalition government will continue to deliver for families and businesses in my electorate of Robertson and how we are fighting to ensure that key projects critical to Gosford's future are progressed and delivered by the Central Coast Council. Last week, I met with the council leadership team and local business leaders to discuss a number of these projects, including some that, despite federal budgeted funding, are yet to commence. Sadly, our 90-minute meeting delivered more questions than answers. The primary concern that local business leaders have raised with me is based around the decades-long promise of a regional performing arts centre in Gosford. This is something I fought for and something we secured $10 million towards, a world-class venue, which was part of the National Stronger Regions Fund round last year. The project was pitched by the former Gosford City Council as an important part of the region's revitalisation, designed to light up our waterfront with culture and boost economic growth. But almost 12 months since funding was secured by, by, by the Council from the Coalition Government for a regional performing arts centre in Gosford, there are fears that a new feasibility study may be launched by the Central Coast Council into this project, an unnecessary step that may cause even more delays. Some of the questions that have not been answered by the Central Coast Council include who in Council will be making the final decision on the Performing Arts Centre, what will the time frame be for this $30 million project to be delivered, where will the Regional Performing Arts Centre be located, if not on the Gosford waterfront, why not, when will the final decision be made in relation to location so we can see a beautiful world-class venue, why have there been almost 12 months of delays since full funding was secured? And how will the Central Coast community be advised of this important project's progress? The key point is that there's still been no decision on the location, which has left many residents and advocacy groups in the dark. The timeline speaks for itself. The Council advised our department earlier this year of three possible locations being considered in the Gosford CBD and indicated it was likely a decision would be made by the end of June this year. Yet by the time we reached August, Council then advised the department that the location for the Performing Arts Centre was still not confirmed, despite a full design being competition being completed for a site some years ago. I then wrote to the Council ahead of our recent meeting, asking for a timeline and clarity on this and a number of other projects, but I've still yet to receive comprehensive answers. The Central Coast Council has, for example, not provided the requirement required paperwork for the Kibbleplex Learning and Development Centre upgrade, a multi-million dollar project to help revitalise Gosford that's been in the budget since 2014. We're also keeping pressure on them about the latest designs and plans for the intersection of Langford Drive and Woi Woi Road in Carryong, something that's been budgeted since 2014. We will fight the every single day to represent families and— has expired.